Greetings, I'm Professor K, and in this short video presentation, we're going to see how we go about installing the DNS role onto a clean install of Server 2019. And though I'm using Server 2019 to demonstrate how to install the DNS role, this procedure is the same for Server 2012 and for Server 2016. So we know that there's at least three different ways that we can install the DNS role. We can do it manually using Server Manager, or we can use PowerShell. And we also have the option to install DNS during the promotion of a server to a domain controller. So if I was to try to promote this machine to a domain controller by installing Active Directory, if Active Directory did not find the DNS role, it would then give me the option to install DNS at that time. To install DNS onto this server, there must be a static IP address found for the role to complete. If it doesn't see a static IP address, it's going to tell you that it needs a static IP address. Now, that being said, I have not configured the DNS address for this machine. That is because when I install DNS, it will automatically input the loopback address into the preferred DNS server inside of the TCPI properties for this machine. For this machine, I am preparing it for promotion to a domain controller, and I will install Active Directory once I've installed the DNS role. So I have configured it with a static IP address of 192.168.145.10, given it the subnet mask, and you'll note down here that I have not given it an IP address for a DNS server. That is because once the DNS server role is installed, it will automatically assign itself a loopback address. That's because we don't want the DNS server to query its own DNS service to find itself. So if it needs to find DNS on this server, it only has to look locally. That's why it inputs the loopback address. In addition to having a static IP address configured for this machine, I've also gone ahead and renamed the machine to its server name that it will be referred to once Active Directory is installed. To begin this procedure, we're just going to use Server Manager. I'm going to go to Manage, and I'm going to select Add Roles and Features. On this next screen, we're just going to accept the default where it says Role-Based or Feature-Based Installation. Click Next. I've got the one server that I'm installing the DNS role on present, so I'm going to click Next. And we're going to select the box here for DNS Server. I'm going to go ahead and add the features, and I'm just going to click Next. I'm going to go ahead and accept the defaults here, click Next. And now you get some information about exactly what the role does. I'm going to go ahead and click Next. And if it needs a restart, I'll go ahead and check this box. It gives me a warning that if a restart is required, the server restarts automatically. Do you want to allow this? I'll say yes. And now we can begin the installation of the DNS server role. Once the role has successfully installed, you can go ahead and close out the wizard. And now we can go up here and we see we have a warning. We click on that and it just tells you that the installation succeeded on DC1. We can now go to Tools, and you'll see that we have the DNS snap-in available inside of our administrative tools. We can go ahead and click that to launch the DNS Management Console. I can now expand this, and you'll see that I have some default containers that are already present inside of my DNS Management Console. Now, I don't have to do anything else at this point. When I get ready to promote this machine to a domain controller, the Active Directory process will detect that a DNS server is already present and it will take over from there configuring the zones and whatever service records need to be installed into the DNS management console. So at this time we have no forward look of zone per se. If you go in here we can create one, but we don't need to if we're going to install Active Directory because Active Directory will take care of all of this for us during the installation process. 
And so that's going to conclude this short video presentation on how we go about installing the DNS roll onto a clean install of Server 2019. So if you have any questions or you have any concerns about any of the information that was shown to you in this short video presentation, please do not hesitate to reach out and contact your instructor, and I'll see you in my next video.